உங்கள் பிள்ளைகள் ஆறு முதல் பனிரெண்டாம் வகுப்பு வரை சிபிஎஸ்இ ஸ்டேட் போர்டில் படிக்கிறார்களா அவர்களை அதிக மதிப்பெண் வாங்க வைக்க ஈசி வழி சாணக்யா இன்டர்நேஷனல் அகாடமி கோச்சிங் சென்டர் ஃபார் ஆல் சப்ஜெக்ட் செவன் எயிட் டூ த்ரீ நைன் ஒன் ஜீரோ ஒன் டூ த்ரீ சிஐ அகாடமி டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் Central Labor Research Institute envisioned by our national leaders before independence and after independence since 1948 this institution started functioning in Madras now in Chennai from very beginning and sometime this research laboratory has their own limitation but this clri is unique among the research institution of our country because let me compliment you why you are special because from day one you are a institution of academics you have a tie up with anna university from beginning and you impact uh, bta courses now you are you're joining in the both the direction you are producing phd students you are also giving skill training in the different households today to carry forward the journey this uh, scale studio just now we have dedicated to the nation dedicated to the craftsmen of the country those who are involved in the leather sector friends as long as the human civilization is there ecosystem is there this trail is bound to remain here In last uh, few years if we are analyze some we can analyze some centuries we can find we will find lot of trade lot of skills available in the process of time because they became irrelevant but leather sector is such a sector the use is permanent sometime we are using it as uh, footwear sometime we are using it as carry bags sometime we are using it as clothing sometime we are using it in a different purposes it will be new in india i am told more than 42 lakhs craftsmen i can't say they are workmen they are all the craftsmen starting from beginning to identify a dead animal to gathering the skins processing them tanning them with more at most modern technology new skill sets are emerged new environmental conditions are there this should be one of my when visited a multinational brand he told me some of the european company has developed ultra modern factories there is no iota of pollution even they put particular table centric vacuum cleaner and they are into eco friendly factories now we all are going for that kind of modernization more about that kind of environment friendly technologies because we are dealing with living creatures but after the animal died we are getting into the business and trade this sector has to evolve with its own time so i feel this sector will remain the craftsman sib may change in old days you might not have using 
digital technology for designing, for processing, for packaging, and for marketing. So all the things are involved in this technology, in this trade. So we have to come up to the time, we have to match with time. I am happy. All the leading players of this industry are involved in the capacity building process. I am happy. I know Habib Bhai since long. He is a renowned personality in the leather industry in our country. So our sector, our sector, leather sector skill council chairman, Ahmad Bhai. And KJ Sriram is a very renowned scientist in this sector. Being the skilled skill sector in charge of the country, I am here with the expectation. Young friends are here. This is a emerging sector. This sector is a cooperative sector. This sector is a cottage industry. With your innovation, with your entrepreneurship, with your little effort. Not only you will earn a respectable living, you will facilitate respectable living for at least five persons. When I am talking in these days about we want more job creator, not job seeker. This is a sector for this little scaling up. Little scaling up, upskilling, reskilling. We can increase the employability of the craftsman. We can increase the respectability, respectable living of the craftsman. There lies the role of skilling industry. Today, before I came to this program, I talked to the competent authority, Minister of Skill Development with collaboration with Minister of Science and Technology, that means CSL laboratory and the CLRA laboratory will envision 10 common facility come training center in the different part of country. Ahmadji, Akhil Ahmadji just now told me, two days back he had a MOU at Agra. Skill center should come up at Kolkata. Skill center should come up at Jamshedpur. Skill center should come up at Kanpur. Qatar, city like uh, Chennai, in Bombay, in Delhi, in all other parts of the country. By putting this common facility center from skill center, we will do two things. We will recognize the learning capacity, prior learning capacity of the existing workers, existing workers. And we also give modern skilling to the family member of that uh, captain. It's a family business, it's a cottage industry. Women are involved in the process. We have to create an Atma Nirvar Bharat. We have to reskill, upskill our capacity. Now in the national education policy, there is provision for all the skilling capacity. The minimum five days of RPL to three months of short term skilling. This is sufficient time for capacity building. Then we have course up to PhD. Now both the ministry will work together, NSDC and CLRI will work together. Sector Skill Council will be in between them. We will organize national level capacity building camp in CLRA campus here. <laughs> Master trainer of all part of country will come here. They will work from, they will study in the classroom, they will go to laboratories, they will go to factories. They will hands on training. Then they will go to different part of the country. Now, Akhil Ahmadji has the ambition to enhance the business capacity in leather sector. He wants to enhance it up to 6 million. Today it is 4.2 million. 
with capacity of gradation of augmentation, his ambition is to achieve the target of six billion, six uh, million uh, craftsmen. With a time-bound manner, with a new approach, with a collaborative approach to the framework of national education policy, where credit framework will be there, where by working the people, the student, will, the craftsman will get education certificate. With all this new approach, I am confident this collaboration will be beneficial to entire industry unless until we augment our capacity, we cannot achieve big things. Thank you friends, especially the young friends. Make leather industry as your career. Hand over the cooperative craftsmen, cottage industry craftsmen. Guide them, put their product in the e-commerce platform. We can envision a great future. I am happy to present here for some time, MMSU. Thank you. Namaskar.